This team, Table 1 2, Chimicum Elementary USA. Our project is based on a real life problem that occurs all over the world water pollution. Our creation shows a highly polluted river, the Congo River, and how we can prevent it from growing larger and spreading more pollution. My team wanted to learn that the Congo River is one of the most polluted rivers in the Central African Republic. And it drains in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Congo River is the second largest river in the world by discharge volume, following only the Amazon. This is our ship, the Collector. Our ship is based on the ship called the Interceptor, so credit to them for the idea. All this trash will go up to the conveyor belt and come into the storage room. Down here, down here the second ship comes in and collects all the trash and then stores it all in these three chests. And then load them up into the second ship and we can t take all the plastic to the mill. My table one, two learned that the Congo River is the deepest river in the country. The, ce the Central African Republic and its currents run a speed of 23,000 to 75,000 cubic meters per second. The Congo River is also known as the Zeri River, and the Congo has a length of 4,370 kilometers, or also known as 2,715. This is Team 56, and we are in Class 6B, doing a build on air pollution. It is in Bakersfield, California. Because it has the most CO2 problems we are in. Wait. Problem. We are in Washington, USA, and we go to Trimacum Elementary School. The impacts of our actions on the environment are climate change and melting ice glaciers, which makes flooding. Scientists think that if the average heat gets to 2.0, it will be unerasable. We build air machines that turn CO2 into oxygen, and there is an unsustainable factory that the air machines filter so that we can live a clean life. What we learned is, what we learned was that if we keep burning fossil fuels, the world will be unsustainable, unsustainable for the future youth and elderly. Why I said elderly and youth is because the air pollution will affect them more because they have lung things going on. That is all we have to say. We don't have to say that. Hello UNESCO, we are Team 7-8 from Shimkum Elementary in the USA, and today I will show you our project. It's a project to save Capilito Beach in California. It is one of the most polluted beaches in the world, and we hope to help with the goal of completing Goal 14. People have turned Capilito into a dirty, polluted beach, and it has made the top three in the most polluted beaches in the world of 2021. This is not good for the mar for for people and marine fish alike. Over 8 million pounds of plastic are dumped dumped into the ocean every year and 91% isn't recycled. And 2 million plastic bags are used every minute. The automated pod pod that we built to pick up trash and plastic from the surface of the ocean, so it cleans Capilito Beach. Once the pods are half full, they go back to land and drop off the garbage at the recycling center. 
we learned that there is a lot more garbage and plastic in the ocean than people think. So we need to act, up, uh, act upon it or bad things will happen. And that concludes our presentation. We at Shimakum Elementary School have decided to help with the plastic rubber pollution in the Puyallup River. So our project is about trash, the trash river of Puyallup. And the problem is that people spill the rubber in the river, and now the river is so dirty that it looks like the ground. So we can came up with a new invention called the robot water filtration system that will help the environment. So that's what we are going to build. The reason we chose the location of the Puyallup River is because the Puyallup is so polluted with rubber debris and plastic that it covers more than 40 miles of the river, making it look unrecognizable. So we work so we work on a dam to fix the problem. In the Puyallup River, it is so nasty and dirty. We decided to do something about it. We built a water cleaning water filtration system that we will clean the water of the river and quote unquote eat the the clumps of trash. A lot of people.